Welcome back everybody! In the last section you've learned how to make some nice and usable forms and how to validate the user input. In this section we'll discuss some other elements of the user interface to help you realize a more engaging website and to provide you some tools to help design desktop-like applications. In this video you will discover how many things you can do with simple buttons. Firstly, let's play a bit with the send button on your contact form. Foundation provides us with some classes to modify the appearance of simple buttons. There are tiny, small and large for fixed dimension. Or expanded that will make the button to span over the entire width of the containing object. Let's try to make our send button expanded. As you may have guessed, you just need to add the expand class to your input element. Now, if you save and reload, you will have a full width button. This is particularly useful when designing mobile first, as we have small spaces available and we must create buttons that are easy to touch for any finger size. If we want something curvy, we can use the round class or radius just to smooth out a bit of the edges. If you are not using a lot of rounded element in your design, you may prefer to use radius. Let's try it on your button. Quite pleasant, isn't it? Clearly, if you are going to use some kind of button repeatedly, you'd better make a class for it and use the SAS button mixing to fine tune it or just extend one of the previous classes for default settings. Sometimes buttons are related or connected to each other and we may want to keep them together in a button group. Let's make a simple navigation for your about page to try it out. Just start with a simple unordered list at the beginning of the main section. Note that we have assigned the about and menu classes. Now let's do the magic with SAS. You have to include the button group container mixing on the root element. Then you need to select all the child list items and include the button group style mixing. Here we are also specifying that we are going to evenly space three buttons. Finally, the anchor elements inside the list items will be the real buttons, so you have to include the button mixing. Here we are also defining it to be full width to make it spread on all the available space. Now save and refresh and enjoy your new fancy navigation bar. In this video you grasped how to personalize buttons and button groups using foundation. They are everywhere and particularly important when designing for mobile as they are usually bigger than simple links and might resemble native interfaces. For these reasons, it is particularly useful to have such powerful options at our disposal. In the next video, we'll see how to use panels and alerts. See you soon!